My name is Andrew Windyboy. I'm a Chippewa Cree. I did two boarding schools, one in Wapton Indian School in Wapton, North Dakota, and the other one is Flandreau Indian School in Flandreau, South Dakota. Mid-60s to early 70s took me to the boarding school where I wasn't allowed to talk my native tongue or practice my native ways. Numerous times they put on this big old white, big huge white cone, put on there and says dunce. I didn't know what it meant. I didn't know English. They put it on me, make me wear it all over. Kids would laugh at me. It took me away from all of that and punished me for talking that. It was my first language. I didn't know any, any other language. So whenever I talk, I, it came out. Cree would come out and whenever I talk, I, I get hit. I got hit so much I, I, I lost my tongue. I lost my native tongue. The only thing I remember was my Indian name. Which is Senu Kihu, means Old Man Eagle. That's the only Cree I knew. They beat me every day. They beat me. They cut off my hair, made me kneel in front of her, the door where everybody come in. Everybody make fun of me when they come by me, rub my head and laugh at me because I was talking. They caught me talking. I hope someday somebody will hear, hear me. I hope nobody has to go through this. We have to have our own language. Because what we do when we talk to our spirits, they don't understand English. They look at you, you, you be talking the English. What are you saying? That's it, Dwayne. That's my Nobody saying that. Cree. Like, no, you didn't know what I just said. That was a hard time in my life. I'll always remember it. For that white man, it's a terrible shame for, for him to be treating people like this. Because we are a people. We just need to be accepted.